In today's English lesson to help you improve your English, we are going to visit an American country store. And we're about 15 miles away from the Canadian border. We're in a little town called Eagle Lake, Maine. And uh, this is the R&M country store, but it's a little unique. So it's definitely a gas station and it's a convenience store. It has a lot of items you might need if you're up here camping. Not a lot of people around here. A lot of people come here to camp. A lot of people come here to go ATVing and snowmobiling. We'll talk about those two terms in a minute. But I do want to show you the memorial they have here for all of the soldiers who have passed away who lived here in Eagle Lake. So you'll see names from World War I, World War II, Vietnam, and the Korean War. So you saw the um, flag of the United States, but there was also the flag of Maine and another flag, it's a black flag that represents everyone who was a prisoner of war, a POW, so a soldier that was, you know, um, put in like a jail during war, a prisoner of war. And I think if you ever see KIA, that means killed in action in English. But yeah, this is the R&M country store. Open seven days a week. They do have gas. We tried to get gas across the street and they were actually out of gas at, uh, it's called Bald Eagle. Yeah, so we are out in the country, as we say. I did want to talk about uh, what ATVing and snowmobiling are. Because in the winter, this place gets busy. And I bet once I show you the signs, you'll know exactly what it is. So ATV it stands for all terrain vehicle, I think. Sometimes you'll hear it called a four wheeler and a snowmobile. Well, you need snow, but it's a fun little thing to take around if there is snow. And this place is famous for that. They said I could film here as long as I don't film them. But I wanna show you this over here because they have a lot of parts. They have a lot of supplies that if you were going to come here and snowmobile or ATV, they might have what you need. Oh, and fishing. This is all about fishing too. We might call these things lures, lures. Lure is a verb meaning to attract. Um, sometimes we use that like if someone wants to do harm to a child, they might lure them into their car. But when we talk about fishing, you're trying to get a fish to come to you, a lure. So. That's a lure. Over here, there's some insect repellent. Repel, it's the opposite of lure, repel. So there are some sprays here that will repel bugs, that will get rid of them. Mosquitoes, we have to worry about mosquitoes up here. Oh, this, if you are into fishing, we call this a bobber and that will just kind of rest on top of the water. Bobber. I'm not a. F just drop that. Um, I don't fish. I'll pick that up. Phrasal verb. I dropped it, but I'll pick it up and I'll put it back where it belongs. So over here, this is where you get into like snowmobile and ATV stuff. oil. I, I, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I don't know a lot about cars, but I do know that's oil. 
and I do know that cars need oil and gas. And spark plugs and windshield wipers. So in British English, they might call it a windscreen, but here in the US, we call it a windshield. So that thick piece of glass that protects you while you're driving so things aren't flying into your face. Battery, need a battery. Oh, there's a man that just walked in. He's very loud. Hey, we might uh, we might get some camo. This is camo. That is short for camouflage. So if you're hunting in the woods, you want to make it look like you're the rest of the woods. He's really loud, isn't he? Uh, you want to make it look like you're part of the woods so the animals don't see you. My goodness. He's, a, he's an older gentleman but uh, maybe he can't hear so well. There's some more camouflage. Whoa, here is a big can of mushrooms. Not sure why you need so many mushrooms, but hey, uh, there's also a shirt over here. But anyway, Eagle Lake. Well, yeah. Cut it out. That's where we are, Eagle Lake. All right, he's leaving, so I'm not sure how much of uh, of him you can hear. But look at that. We know. Oh. Butterscotch pudding, <laughs> which I've I've spoken about before. I don't like butterscotch, but chocolate pudding I would definitely eat. How about you? What, Leave in the comments, what would you pick? Butterscotch or chocolate? And I can't even explain, I can't explain the taste of butterscotch, but it's uh, pretty gross in my opinion. There is a cooler full of drinks if you want something to drink. Now look at this, Americans. We love our potato chips. This is a small store, but look at how many different kinds of potato chips we have. The first kind that you'll see, they're actually made right in the state of Maine. These are not. So many chips, right? Ridiculous. How many kinds of chips do you need? All right, I think that will just about do it. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, we're gonna get out of here, but if you want to learn some more English, take a look at a video I made when I got kicked out of a 7-Eleven. I didn't get kicked out of this place, luckily. Thank you, see you next time.